Hello everyone, welcome back to another Latex with Overleaf video tutorial. My name is Juan and today I'm going to show you how to generate tables like a pro in a very easy way. You will be able to generate any type of tables. In this case I'm going to be showing you how to replicate this table. As you can see and as you already know, dealing with tables can be a little bit complicated. This is what the code looks like. However, I'm going to show you a way that is going to be very easy where you will just input all the information, click generate, and you will get a code where you can just paste it in LaTeX. We are here in the website, it's called tablesgenerator.com. I'm going to add a link in the description of the video where you can download, and we are going to try to replicate this table in here. So the first thing that we will do is to go into file, new table, and we need to add five columns and five rows for this particular example. I'm gonna hit create and now here we have the five columns and the rows as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is basically focus on editing all the format and then I'm going to just write everything quickly and show you how to put this into latex. So I'm going to add first borders to all the table. I select the whole table and I add all the borders. Then we need to merge these two cells. So I'm going to hit in this option which is merge. Then I would like to add here another merge so we can write inside lags. So all you need to do to write is double click in here and just type. That's as simple as that. And then I would like to add the colors. I'm going to add colors to these cells. You're going to go in here um, and I'm going to select this light gray. And then to these ones I would like to put a light yellow. And finally, what we can do as well is select the whole table and put centered. So all the information that we're gonna write inside is going to be centered. I'm going to fill now all the information and I'm going to show you how to paste this into LaTeX. Once you write all the information, you're going to get this table. I'm going to scroll down and show you a couple more details that you can include in your table. For example, what we can do is the code is going to look like this. It's going to look very, here a lot of spaces in white and that's gonna take a lot of space in your latex code so what you can do is select this option that says compress white space and as you can see now the code looks a bit tighter then in extra options we can add for example a caption in the table we can add it above or below I would like to have it above um, and if we go up I'm going to show you that now it's showing you this box when we can enter the caption I'm going to type variance decomposition uh, for USA, that's the name of my table. Now I'm gonna scroll down a little bit. I'm gonna show you two more options that I think that you should include in this. Is for example, the center table horizontally and also scale table to text width. So that's what it's going to do is if the table is too big and exceeds uh, the width of the text, then it's going to kind of compress the table and make it look uh, proportionate to your text. And what I can show you as well is this option that says book tabs table style and the tables produced with this style look more like the tables you can see in the books. So if you would like to activate this option, you would go up here and you can say I have the default, but you can change it into book tabs. And finally, what you can do is also add a label. I would like, for example, to refer to this table as table one. So then you can label and refer to your table in latex later. Now all we do is generate and we're going to copy to the clipboard this this um this table. Back in Overleaf I have a blank page. What I'm going to do is to paste the code. And this is very important that it says please add the following required packages to your document preamble. We're going to copy this and we're going to paste it on top because otherwise the table is not going to include colors or is not going to be able to merge the cells. So all we are going to do is paste there the packages and make sure that we remove the percentage terms. And now all we have to do is hit recompile and latex is going to generate the table. So here we have the table as you can see. However, there is one last step missing in here. Latex for some reason doesn't really respect the spaces unless you specify that you would like the table to be located right where you put the code. So in order to do that, all you're going to do is going to begin table code line, which is in this case for me is line 21. And I'm going to type in here H. What H means is telling here. It's just the summary for here. 
And basically what you're telling um, latex code is to put the table right here after how to generate a table like a pro. So that's the title of the of the section. So I'm gonna hit recompile and I'm gonna show you now how the table goes up and respects the space that we assigned to it. That's going to be all for today. If you found this video useful, I would like you to invite you to subscribe to my channel as I'm going to be submitting many more tutorials using Latex with Overleaf. And I also do tutorials using Stata and views for economics, applied economics. So if that's something you're interested in, you can definitely check that. Finally, if you're working on an economics research paper, I would like to let you know there's a link in the description where you can buy this template that I have in here, where you will be able to make your paper look in a very professional format with an abstract, the title, some keywords, all the sections, you will be able to include maths as well and some footnotes and also has the codes to include graphs and finally some codes to add references and an appendix. That's going to be all for today. Thank you very much for watching and take care. Thank you.